Hi, this is Will Cook of the Will Cook Group at Keller Williams Luxury Homes. Welcome back to my video blog. Today we're going to talk about what's going on in our local real estate market. Today we're going to talk about what's going on in our local real estate market. But before we get started, I'd like to bring your attention to a couple of buttons on the video blog. If you're a buyer, click search for homes and we'll send you a list of homes based on the criteria that you select. If you're a seller, click free home value report and we'll send you a market snapshot of the value of your home in today's current market. Now back to our topic. In general, we have been in a strong seller's market. The ratio called months of supply is a number that really measures the balance of supply and demand. Sales represents demand and inventory supply. So the ratio is a combination. Low ratios like what we have today represent low supply and high demand. The current ratio of 4.3 months is the lowest May 1st number since 2013. Days on the market for April was 64, which is the lowest number of days for April in the last five years. In this next slide, we see improved months of supply in all price brackets, especially for homes priced under 700,000. All ratios in price brackets under 700,000 are below six months. As a comparison, in the April report two years ago, most ratios were over 10 months. While not as low as lower brackets, homes priced over 800,000 and up also have experienced considerable improvement. On May 1st, two years ago, months of supply for homes over 900,000 were almost 24 months. And today they are 10.8 months for homes priced from 900 to a million and 13.9 months for homes priced over $1 million. Inventory, or the number of homes that are on the market, continues to shrink. On May 1st, inventory stood at 3,622 units, which is 870 units less than last year at this time, and 1,876 less than two years ago at this time. Shrinking inventory is one half of the equation that's been driving home prices higher. As you will see in the graph, there is a seasonal pattern to inventory as there is to sales. If the seasonal pattern continues, inventory should continue to decline until September. As you will see in this next slide, in terms of pricing, Cathedral City, Palm Springs, and Palm Desert are the three cities in the valley with the greatest price momentum of detached or single family homes. They have 12 month gains of 15.6%, 12.7% and 11.8% respectively. Palm Springs has been the region's price leader for some time and its median price of 656,100 is now 9.3% above the all-time high made in 2006. Palm Springs is the only valley city that has surpassed its all-time 2006 high. However, Indio, Cathedral City, and Palm Desert are rapidly approaching theirs. Our continued price appreciation and lower inventory point to a great time to consider selling your home in the greater Palm Springs area. If for buyers who are considering financing their purchase, there is some urgency to get into the market now before the interest rates negatively impact your purchasing power. If you have any questions about the value of your home or are interested in exploring purchasing a home in the greater Palm Springs area, we'd love to help you out. Please just give us a call, an email, or send me a text. As always, if you have any other real estate related questions that I can answer, please let me know and I'd be happy to make a video about it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.